What's up YouTube? Gonna be out here working on another project in the driveway and we'll be back on the Toyota Tacoma. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Please subscribe to the channel. We're gonna go over replacing the needle bearing today. I'm gonna try to take apart as little as I can and hopefully in this video it'll show you you don't have to take every single component off the suspension in order to be able to get to this needle bearing. I am just gonna jack up the driver's side front only. That needle bearing is getting replaced with a bushing um, this is for that 8 inch clamshell bushing replacement. You've seen it all over ECGS, Yukon, I think Nitro is another company, but after going through Tacoma World and looking at the threads, the differences between ECGS, Nitro, and um, Yukon doesn't seem to be that much different. They all serve the same purpose, and for price and availability and how quickly I could get the part, uh, I went ahead and made my order through Amazon and ordered the Yukon bushing. We've got to jack up the driver's side, get the wheel and tire off, and then take apart some of the suspension. In the video, I'll have information as far as torque specs and what parts I'm actually taking apart to get that. Uh, what we're taking out is the axle. Uh, I do have a replacement axle seal, which is an OEM seal. It was about 16 bucks on Amazon. Let's go ahead and get started. Get up under here and I'm gonna get everything jacked up and supported and get the jack out, jack stands, and I've got all my sockets and tools and everything I'm gonna need to take it apart. So I'll just walk you through it as we go. Hopefully the weather will um, stay nice. It's a little bit cloudy, which is nice. It's, it's not cloudy in the exact spot I'll be working, but um, hopefully it won't be too bad. So let's get started. Uh, up inside here, there's a bushing that goes bad on this truck and it causes a vibration in the steering wheel. And it's happening? Yeah, it's inside this. Right here, I gotta take this, I gotta take this thing out, that's the axle. Uh -huh. I gotta take that out, but I gotta take these parts around it to get this piece out of the way to get that pulled out first. I've got a replacement piece for it. You can tell because you can, you can do this. And there's that wobble in the...
Conclusion, I'd like to wrap up a couple points. First of all, if you notice that it looks like I'm tired, it's because I am tired. This was an extremely excruciating job to do on the ground. If I had a lift, and if you've got a lift, it would be much easier to do this job on a lift. It'd be much easier if you take more of the suspension, suspension components apart. I can't even talk correctly now. But I did use the tool that comes from ECGS. You can buy that tool from them, or if you're in the ECGS loan program, look for somebody on one of your Facebook groups and just ask them if you can borrow theirs. That's what I did. So I got a tool for free. I didn't have to buy a tool that I'm only gonna use once, which is nice. Let me show you that tool. So this is the tool that comes from ECGS. And all this is, is this little end piece. This is what you have to put in. So in the videos that you've probably watched before, you wanna shove some paper towel or something behind there, a piece of foam or something in, in one, actually on the other side of the needle bearing. So if you were looking from where you're at and you were looking through here, in the back here, you wanna just stuff some paper towel or something through like you saw me do in the video. And that just makes it because you need to take this piece and you need to slide it in it actually needs to go behind. Let me put this down real quick. So the needle bearing is sitting like this and you actually need to get this piece to come in behind the needle bearing. And so there's just enough room. You actually have to hit this with a hammer as you can see in my video. Once you do that, this piece is flush with the back of the needle bearing. So this piece is sitting back here now and the paper towel is behind it. So the next thing you do is you just take your threaded rod and you just work it into the inside and just thread this onto that piece. Um, I don't have a number for how many threads it was to get it on. I'm not sure why this actual tool came with two nuts. You only really need one. So what you're doing is you've got the, the this plate is actually behind the needle bearing inside the shaft where the axle goes through. And just got a piece of metal in my finger. What you're doing is you're actually using this as a wedge 
So this metal plate sits up against the outside of the axle housing. And as you, as you turn the nut, as you saw in my video, it's not that the, you're, you're pushing the plate in, but this is stationary. So what you're actually doing when you turn this is you're pulling this out. And that's what you have to do. You're, you're actually pulling the needle bearing out. Now, there wasn't anything wrong with my needle bearing other than it's causing the, the, the steering wobble. If you feel a steering wobble and it goes away, if you put it in four wheel drive, then that's what tells you that the needle bearing is going out. Now, what I noticed was on the axle sh shaft itself, I might be able to do a screenshot here to show you, but what, what it looks like is the, the ends of the needle bearings don't actually have as much support as the center. There's actually a metal piece in between the needle bearings. I don't know if you can see that in the, if it'll zoom in, you can catch that in this video, but there's actually um, these needle bearings roll inside this kind of casing on the, uh, that's a sleeve on the inside of this bushing. But what I noticed on the axle was on either end of the length of the needles, the axle had a rubbing mark on either end where the, the tips of the needle, like the needle's tipping and the end of the needle is what's rubbing more instead of it being a nice flat surface. I'm sorry if the, I'm sorry if it was just too dark tonight. Uh, time worked against me. It took so long to get the driver to work correctly to hammer in the, the, the new bushing. Um, my hands were killing me. My back was killing me. It was a pretty rough job. The replacement bushing that I got was from Yukon, like I mentioned, and this is the Yukon part number. That's the Yukon part number. And I did order, I did order a new axle seal, and this is this axle seal is supposed to fit my truck, but once I actually set the axle seal, I actually pulled the axle seal out, the factory one, because I was going to replace it with this. I didn't damage the axle seal when I pulled it out, so hopefully it's fine. But when I put the old axle seal up against this new axle seal, this axle seal is probably about a quarter of an inch in diameter too big. So if you're ordering for a Gen 2, I would think the Gen 3 is probably the same way. I ordered mine for a 2011, so 2005 to 2011 are the same, and then you go to Gen 2.5 in 2012 to 2015, and then Gen 3 starts in 2016. So I don't know if this part is not for any of these, but it did not fit mine. It did not fit the 2011, which is the Gen 2.0. It might also not fit the Gen 2.5. It might also not fit the Gen 3, I don't know, but that's the part number for this. Make sure that you can see that part number. That is not the right part number for my truck. The job is done, and as you can see from the video, I took a drive down the road, and the steering wheel used to shake so bad that you could actually see, I could actually see my hand moving. So when I'm driving, I could actually see my hand doing this when I was driving. And it pretty much happened anywhere from 35 miles an hour to 70. If you have a shop, they could probably do this job for you. I'm not trying to make this video super long. I'm really sorry if my videos are long. I'm not trying to be like over, um, I don't know, over detailed. I'm a very detail oriented person. And a lot of these videos, people skip stuff. And I'm like, hey, how did you get from, you, you said you're taking the needle bearing out and then all of a sudden the needle bearings out, but you didn't show taking it out. Or you, you said you put the axle seal in, but I didn't see you put the axle seal in. Or you took the axle out, but I, don't, I didn't see you take the axle out. Yeah, you, you told me later on, but I didn't actually see it. So I, I try to get all that detail in there and I try to show most of it or if not explain most of it. So sorry if I explained too much. Uh, if it's if it's a hindrance for you and it's hard to watch the videos because the, the there's too much information and you don't want to you don't want us talk then please put a comment in the comment section hey if this is exactly what you want and you needed all this information and maybe even one or two questions hey put the questions in the comment section too because I will reply to in the comment so thanks for taking the time to watch I'm gonna wrap this up please subscribe to the channel like the video share the video um, comment on the video I'm gonna post this in all of my Facebook Tacoma groups and hopefully it'll help somebody out.